Talk about cringe moments for a second. Yes. <laughs> Hot topic right now. Um, for some of us, they're more frequent than others. Joel, <laughs> I wasn't looking I at you. I wish you'd go with you then to start with. <laughs> you... Well, maybe what have we haven't heard from you for a while. Yes. Oh, gosh. I mean, there's. I feel like as a worship leader, if you haven't had a cringe moment, there's something wrong. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just to start with, yeah. like it's. Well, Everybody's you don't know got that it. you've had them. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to have one. Then you're going to have one. Yeah. And it's okay. What? Yeah. yeah. God yeah. still sits on the throne. That's right. That's, right. That's exactly right. And oh my goodness, there's so much. <laughs> We're laughing. Like I wasn't laughing in the moment. There's one specific um, time I can remember. We were just about to um, launch the song Your Word. Uh. And man, I was so prepared. Like so prepared. Ready with the lyrics. I was like I knew what the band was doing, I knew what was happening, and I got through, your word is calling in the wake of morning, and then I got to, <laughs> this foundation, and then I lost it. I absolutely lost it, and I'm thinking, okay, first of all, great song, I'm yeah. just butchering the heck out of it. <laughs> Second of all, like, wow. we, we had just released the album, and you know, for anyone who's ever written anything ever in their life to present something for the first time really badly. <laughs> um, it was just a bit nerve wracking. And I think I'd only been like properly on the team for a couple of years at the time. Interesting verse. And yeah, like it just, mm -hmm. it was just one of those moments where I so thought I had it and I was ready and it's a kicking song. It's such a good song. But I came away from that service. I'm, I'm still scarred by it. Like it takes a lot. Yeah. It takes a lot to mess years. me up. Yeah, yeah like I'm still really, scarred. By yeah, like it's oh, the hairpiece. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you recover? Um, like, I mean, what's the well, what's the formula for recovery? Clearly, I haven't recovered yet, yeah. Ryan. I think that's. I think. But Just welcome to yeah, our round exactly. table. Yeah. Yeah. Therapy yeah. sessions. Therapy yeah. sessions. Yeah. Yeah. And you two can sessions. phone in. <laughs> but you know, I think it's. I think at the end of the day, if we if we don't do this and just laugh about it yeah. at the end of the day, mm. um, we'll take ourselves too you seriously. just, that yeah. could have become the little splinter that turns into an infection that takes me off the team. Mm. You um, know, those moments where it shakes your security, it shakes yeah. your yeah. Um, ability to get up and do it again the next yeah. week and yeah. just go. And even the worst part is you do the same song again next week and you're yeah. like, yes, I have opportunity to redeem myself but I also might so stuff up again. Even more nervous. Yeah, and I'm like, right, but you butcher the bridge. <laughs> In fact, the song didn't even have a bridge. Yeah, exactly. And you, just you get the lyrics right, but you sing the lyrics to another yeah, exactly. corporation. Exactly. Yeah. To another song. What the heck? Before we ask you, Dan, um, oh, gosh. just a note to self. Yes. And I'm speaking to myself. Don't ever sing the verse of Angels We've Heard on High <laughs> into the chorus of the first Noel because it doesn't work. <laughs> What's your? Do, 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 no, I'm talking about myself. No, 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 Playing some catch up to find out yeah, who's inside of here. Or, on, <laughs> on carols as well, you can. Let's not talk about carols. No, no, no. But you can. There's. You can get brightly shining, and the other way, you can get those two <laughs> words, <laughs> shortly brightening. Oh. And that happened to me. It's a classic. Oh, yeah. No. yeah. That was yeah. A That's not brining. good. That's not good. Yeah. Did it happen in the deaf service? <laughs> <laughs> I wish it did. <laughs> Dan, cringe moments. Oh wait, oh, where, where, where do one. I start? You, you, you name it, I've done it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have tripped over fold backs. Yeah. I have so fallen good. off stages. Yeah. Um, I have sung. I, 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 I have <laughs> sung the the wrong lyrics to oh, the wrong so song. Um, a particular moment um, in one of in our 10 a.m. service a couple of years ago. Um, in, in a worship moment, you know, hands lifted, eyes shut, um, in a button-up shirt. Oh, yes. but it's one of those like clip, those um, snaps, yes. snaps yeah. like buttons. No t-shirt underneath. Not only no t-shirt, but <laughs> half of my t-shirt was, or the shirt was open. Yeah, right. And so, and, and I'm like, I'm like lost at it, like oh, I'm like th this shirt is open, Easy so breezy. belly button and all and showing, Fantastic. and literally do, um, do. a deacon like mid. Mid worship moment, like no, I'm, lo I'm, I'm I'm in the moment, like comes over, taps on the shoulder, and no. you need to button up your t-shirt, oh <laughs> and just look down and. <laughs> that is you know. incredible. Shocking. How do you? Are you yeah, it's a hard what? one to recover wow. from. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you didn't feel the breeze. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, the aircon no. was broken. <laughs> Linda, cringe moments. Oh, I've got two 
many. We'll There's just give us so many yeah. over give the years. Give us one. But I've got many of other people. As happens well. on yeah, Thursdays yeah. until we'll give us <laughs> one <laughs> personal. Just one. Just one. Just one. Okay. Just one. Um, I think again, it comes back to. It's a good thing to be comfortable when you worship yes. lead and yeah. because that does actually bring confidence as well and yes. you do the test and whatever. But I remember getting a heel caught in um, one of the greats, yeah. the, oh, yes. those greats. Yes. And this was many years ago when we wore heels and that was stupid. <laughs> but um, I, it got caught, but not just caught like a deacon, like similar to Dan, deacon had to come up actually and get it out oh, wow. of the grill. <laughs> Second wow. song and literally I, when it had happened, I was, you know, we were moving around and I'd step back and so amazing. I was out of my... Um, shoe and so I'm just hopping around with one shoe <laughs> and everyone on the front row Amazing. is like hysterical and that you're like oh I've got to now bring the compose, you know, yeah. bring, yeah. compose myself <laughs> but I think they like what everyone says it brings you back down to earth that's and right. those things happen to everyone mm. and that's yeah. it's you got to find the funny side and have a laugh about it after it's happened yeah. to everyone yeah. can't let yeah. it take you out Eri yeah. anything there any memorable oh. moments that you're willing to share I've Yes, I've got many. I've my pregnant belly hanging out at a big network combined event. But um, I, probably my favourite was um, playing and singing in an altar call moment <laughs> and um, about a hundred baby spiders to start <gasps> streaming down because they'd hatched. They were hatchlings. <laughs> Onto the keys, and I'm not this even joking. Is a, this is a horror film I right now. Horror worship film. I hate spiders. Oh my god. So I, I actually, worship. I actually did do a like ding, ding, ding oh. on the keys. <laughs> Beethoven's just, nine. Just, just, <laughs> Beethoven's nine. Adam's family. I love it. <laughs> but then just continued on. And Did they just come like from the ceiling? Yes, yeah, ceiling, ceiling, ceiling yeah, hatchings. Wow. I'm not Jesus making wept. this up. I Jesus wept. Um, <laughs> wow, really let's change gears for a second. Oh, as horrible. fun as this yeah. is. <laughs> Uh, yeah. It's been the best part of the uh, yeah. interview. We just can't get too excited. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the fact that as worship leaders, there are times where you're feeling nauseous or nervous or disinterested or, or just completely like you've got nothing. You're in possession of yeah. nothing and you're about to lead worship. Mm. And we can't use the old cliche, well, that's just life. <laughs> like we can't use that one. It's, right. it's lit it literally is yeah. warfare. It's yeah, disembodied yeah, spirits totally. come yeah, and take you on a mind trip and yeah, you know you don't know which way's up or down. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about how you each combat that mm -hmm. without taking crazy pills. Mm. <laughs> well, Start with you, Dan. Oh, no, 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 sorry, Jack. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, you looked at me, so I just went with it. Um, I it's think glass I've, I've actually learned it from almost everyone at this table, to be honest. So, you know, tap yourself on the back and <laughs> you're passing down good things. But um, the, the thought and the image of the garment of praise, right? Mm -hmm. So when you think about dressing yourself in a garment, sometimes certain garments don't fit with other garments underneath them. Things like um, a big fluffy jumper underneath a thin denim shirt, right? So number one, just don't. Praise Jesus. Please don't wear things like that <laughs> in general. It's not a good look. But it's also, people aren't going to notice the thing over the top, they notice the thing underneath. So what we need to do is remove the thing underneath to put the Great. right shape on top. So... I've heard Dan say so many times, you need to um, throw things off of you to be able to put on that garment of praise. We sort of just think the garment of praise is like the invisibility cloak that just fits over top of everything. Yeah. When really, the garment of praise, like you've been saying, Linda, it's an exchange. We need to actually exchange the old garment awesome. for right. the garment of praise. And it, I think, I know for me, it's, it can be a need of a total head shift. Yeah. Like I need to just get myself out of the funk in my mind to then put on a garment of praise and go for it. But also in the same way that we need to be physically comfortable in what we wear, having that giant jumper underneath this sort of fitted shirt, it's not comfortable yeah. and people will see that. Yeah. You're sort of trying to mask the, the tough stuff hmm. with praise when really hmm. when we praise all that falls off, all that comes away yeah. and I think um, yeah, you walk That's in right. with exhaustion, you walk in with the week's work, you walk in with a lot of stuff, but when you hit that, that door frame and you walk through that door, you need to change your clothes. 
Mm. Spiritually right. change your clothes. Sometimes mm. you need mm. to change your clothes. Some yeah. people who, um, you know, mm. you see in ministry, people, you know, give unsolicited, um, uh, not advice, but sort of mm. their thoughts on what's really going on for a worship leader. But if mm. you've never been on the other side of a worship microphone, mm. you'll never really know what it's mm. like. Mm. And I'm looking at you because <laughs> um, you've been in times where dry spells have lasted more than days, weeks, and months. Mm. Mm. And I'm just curious to know how do you not, what's the point where you go, look, I'm not going to try and crash through. I'm just going to mm. embrace this little sucker and not I'm sure. going to be a worshiper, yeah. even though everything, I feel like an imposter, everything doesn't feel like a worshiper. How do right. you do that? Great. Totally. Snowflake. It's good. Beautiful. Um, our first and greatest calling is to be a worshiper. Mm -hmm. um, and I think what makes us great worship leaders is that first and foremost, um, we're worshipers. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the very thing that makes it worship is that there are tough times and there yeah. are tough seasons mm -hmm. and there are things that we all journey through. And I'm sure we could go around this room and there'd, there'd yeah. be, we'd all have a story mm -hmm. of, yeah. of something, you know. And um, I don't think God's God's not after perfection. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. God's not mm -hmm. looking for people that mm -hmm. have it all together. Mm -hmm. um, oh. But I think worship is about bringing it all to Him. Yeah, that's right. Um, so good. And, so good. And, and like I said, I think the very thing that makes it worship is that, that, um, that it can be tough. And, and that's, you know, talk, going back to, we talked about the price before. Right. Yeah. Um, that's, a, that's a part of what the price yeah. is. Yeah. Um, and I think we can often think that worship is this polished, pretty thing when as a matter of fact, you know, there can be blood, sweat, yes. tears yes. Um, and, and, yeah. and that, that can be a part of our worship. Yeah. Um, but na nav navigating through it, you know, it's obviously easier said than done. Um, but that's why I think um, at the heart of it, like it's about Jesus and first and foremost, um, our, our relationship with Jesus is at, at the center of it all. Yeah. I think for yeah. me, that's what um, has kept me stay on track yeah. is, is that daily connection. Right. And I love the scripture, the Apostle Paul says, um, I count everything as loss um, because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my yeah. Lord. And, yeah. and, and I think like worship leading can even become somewhat of an idol, yeah? Yes. Um, yeah, absolutely. You know, and ministry can probably yeah. become somewhat of an idol, but I love what the Apostle Paul says, I count everything as a loss yes. uh -huh. yeah. because of the surpassing worth of just yeah, knowing that. Jesus. Yeah, and yeah, I think, yeah. I, I know for mm. me personally, just, um, just being in daily relationship with Jesus, which is, you know, there's moments where you might, you might feel him, experience him, um, and the moments that you don't, but but regardless, just opening up the Bible, mm. um, regardless, just just yeah. spending that moment, just sitting and waiting, yes. even if I don't have the words to say. Yeah, like I, I, th I think I think prayer can be as much about saying nothing, oh, yeah. and it is about um, saying something, so yeah, um, so and and just be able to sit and wait that's and really, and yeah. wait on God. That's that's great. Great. Can I add on that too, so good. Dan? Because mm. I think sometimes there's the perception out there. Dan was going about on it a bit um, about worship leaders or people that are on the stage, even in ministry, that there's some kind of perfection. Yeah. Like, and yeah. of, and I think we can blow that right out the water right now because we're mm. all human and mm. no one's perfect. Right. Yes. And we all go through stuff mm. Mm. like what Dan was saying. Yeah. And I think as to take the pressure off, we, we do go through things and that actually builds in us when we go through things with God. Mm. Yeah. That actually builds in us a depth mm. yes. and an understanding yeah. of who we are in Christ mm. and not who we are in that circumstance, mm. but who we are actually yeah. in Christ. Mm. Yeah. And that, that actually resonates to the congregation yeah. and that resonates to people. Mm. Not that we're perfect. And obviously worship is, you know, there is, we are meeting with our creator. So there is that whole look of oh being on a worship team or on yeah. stage or whatever mm, yeah. but actually it is the sacrifice and mm, it is yeah. it, it is the the nervousness comes you mm. know when the nervousness comes that's that can be a good thing as well yeah. you rely a hundred percent on God right. and yeah. not your own ability yeah. like it's for me I get you know I'll get nervous but I'm like God I give it to you mm. because I can't do this on my own. Yeah, this right. has got to be you. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's cool. Totally. He doesn't um, just hand out his authority anywhere, right? Yeah, so when great. someone sings or they worship and it comes with weight, 
I, I have respect for that mm. because I know what it costs them. I don't yeah. know the details, but I know that it costs them. Wow. Mm. Um, so mm. it, they're, they're not equal to each other. I'm not saying that you have to pay this awful price to be able to yeah. bring worship. That's not it. That's not our God. But, um, yeah, you know, when we desire him, even if it's a droplet of our heart, like, you know, every, every Sunday, like I um, also carry the weight of governance and, mm. and other things like that. And so I like have set up disciplines in my life, which mm -hmm. isn't natural to me. And some of them are beautiful relational ones. Like I literally look at my hands and I'm like, blessed be the Lord, my <laughs> rock who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Father, Come I'm on. coming after yeah. you this Come morning. On. I right. love you. Really and right. somehow when I tap in, I can feel his heart and his desire towards mm. me. Mm. And I just right. need a droplet of that. Yeah. Mm. And that's all I need. It's incredible. Yeah, that's yeah. all I need. So but it's a discipline. Because right. yeah. <laughs> everything stops you from getting on your knees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wants to anyway. Yeah. yeah, totally. What about you, JP? I, I can't go past the simplicity of what we see in Psalm 100, where it's just like enter his gates with thanksgiving yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. and his courts with yes. praise. Yeah. And, there's, and it just seems a bit yes. too simple, but it's, yeah. no, it's it. the way that you get there. And mm -hmm. I think um, if you're surrounded by whatever that doesn't seem to help you get to God, mm. then the first port of call is to get your eyes off whatever yes. that is Absolutely. and start to yeah. thank him for what you do have exactly. uh, totally. and then as you graduate beyond like the things that you you can see that you're thankful for and you start mm. to tell the Lord who he is yes, and your that. your own heart begins to mm. you know announce his attributes and his promises then yes. then then there you are like yeah. um, so your, just, your eyes are lifted yeah. and it's just, it's almost as simple as that it, should, it yeah. sounds like it should be more complex but um, and I find not, not always, like your circumstance might not necessarily change, yeah. Yeah. but I find always I change. Yes. Exactly. Um, just exactly. keeping that, that, yeah. that the thanksgiving, that, that gratitude, um, doesn't matter what I'm go, going through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, your circumstance might not always change, but, but I change, which yeah. then yeah. changes that's my good. perspective on maybe yeah. the situation, the circumstance. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. And that's what amazing. happens when you worship you, um, yeah. when you actually because there are times in services you swear you're worshipping. You think, I'm worshipping, this is great. <laughs> Something happens, is a, there's a clocking over. Yeah. Or you go through yeah. a, a particular threshold in the yeah. spirit and then God says, well, actually, now, now you're worshipping. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. But you could have sworn that you were worshipping <laughs> yeah. before yeah. because now you've internally relocated. The interesting thing is that um, worship is like respite. Mm. Mm. Totally. Because we're, we're created in the image of God. And the closer we get to God, our image of him is healed, but we're also healed. Mm. Yeah. Our image of ourselves yes. is healed. And we get that respite. We get that mm. break mm. from the warfare. We get break, the break from the week. We get the break from work or right. from all the external pressures. Yeah. So worship actually does us good. Even though we're yeah. wired to lift him up, so we shift internally. Right. And like, like what you said, you said it, your circumstances may not change when you come down. Mm. Change. But you change, yeah, that's right. right. Which is which is fantastic. Yeah, your heart softens. The 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 atmosphere changes. Yeah. Peace comes. Yeah. All that. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.